Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And can I also uh, thank the, the Secretary of State for his health statement and for his regular updates. Uh, could, would the, the Secretary of State outline the discussions that he has helped with the Ministry of Defence to ensure that hospitals throughout the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland can avail of the highly skilled workforce and logistical expertise of the armed forces? And for those who seem perplexed, outline the rationale for making use of this tremendous weapon in the arsenal in the fight against COVID within the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and saving lives. And will the Secretary of State join with me in thanking the Northern Ireland Executive in taking this step to save lives regardless of any perceived political point that others may very shamefully make? Thank you. Secretary of State. Well, thank you very much, Mr Speaker. The, the armed forces have been incredible in their support for the efforts that we've all nationally had to go to to tackle COVID. And that's also true with the vaccination programme, especially the logistical expertise that the Honourable Gentleman refers to. And this, this UK-wide vaccination effort uh, has been supported enormously by the, uh, by the armed forces. Uh, I'm very, very grateful for the work that they've done, really going the extra mile to help save lives.